Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and in this video I am showing you the Tim Holtz Picket Fence Distress Ink. Today I'm going to show you a couple ways to use the Tim Holtz Distress Ink Picket Fence. Now this white ink is more of the properties of Distress Ink versus say a white pigment ink. So I'm going to show you a few ways. Um, here are are a couple cards that I made and so I use the picket fence for the background of the card you can see through the stencil as well as the stamping on these matte minis and we're using Wendy Vecchi stamps and products to make the cards so let's get started So I've started already and I took the Ranger Specialty Stamping Paper, it has that little coating on it, and applied some Distress Ink. I used Picked Raspberry, Mermaid Lagoon, and Seedless Preserves to make the background. And I want to use some darker color so the white would really pop off it. So now I'm going to take this stencil from Wendy. Now the stencil doesn't completely, it fits, but you're gonna have a few missing spots. So I'm just going to shift it over a little and then we are going to fill in the other side. So I'm putting it there, I have my picket fence and I'm using one of the round, um, tools and I'm just going to be rubbing the white over top of my stencil. Now if you do miss part when you re lift your stencil you can always go back and add more. So let's see how we're doing. You can see it, but it is very faint in areas. So I'm going to put my stencil back on and go over more. I'm going to now, instead of rubbing it, I'm gonna sort of stamp it on. So you can see, I think when I'm rubbing the ink on, um, it's getting too faint. So I'm sort of stamping it with my tool to get the full amount of ink on there. So now when I lift it, you should be able to see it a lot more. And this isn't going to be this white in your face. It's just a nice subtle background. So now what I'm going to do is line up my stencil with the design that was there and just complete the rest of the card. And there I have my whole background. So depending on the color, on the pink, you can't see it as well as you can say on the blue and purples. So the darker your background, the more that white will pop off it. And while we have the white out, I'm going to do my button. So these are the matte minis from Wendy Vecchi and you get black and white in a couple different size um, little buttons here. And I'm going to use this. It is Wendy's ticking background. And I'm going to ink up an area of the stamp. I'm not going to do the whole stamp because I have a small little button. So I just need an area of it. And then just press it in. And 
and you can see there I now have a nice pattern on my button. We can put that aside. So I'm going to put the Distress aside for now and I have used Wendy's Unlimited Art and I'm going to use um, this flower off it and I already stamped it on specially stamping paper and embossed it with gold ink. And now we're going to color it in and I am going to use some Distress inks to do that. And so all you need to do is put a little bit onto your craft mat. And then I have just a brush I'm going to dip in my water. Now you don't want it too wet because this isn't a watercolor paper, but for the amount we're going to do, it'll be fine. And I'm just sort of painting on the color. And obviously the um, the resist or the gold embossing will resist the color. And I'm going to blend in the next darker color and go like right over top of that yellow. And then take the darkest color on the bottom. And that's how quick it is. You can color in little stamped images with distress. I'm going to find my napkin. Here it is. And just wipe this off. And I'm going to do the same with the stem, but I'm going to use some green. Even though it's small, I'm going to use two colors. I'm using the Twisted Citron and mowed lawn. Now a lot of times I will color my image before cut it, cutting it out, but just for the quickness of this video I wanted to cut it first. I'm going to also show you, you can use the Ranger water pen as well um, to pick up color and painted on. These are nice because they have such that fine point. And if you want it darker, you can dry this and then just put a second layer on. Okay, so we have our elements. I'm going to just hit this with the heat tool a little bit because the ink might still be a little wet since it was on the shiny paper. And then I'm going to heat this a little. I don't want to heat it too much because we have it embossed, but just to dry that water just a bit. You don't want to reactivate all that embossing. So now I can put my flower, my card, let me just I'm using Scotched Quick Dry. Just going to turn it around to place my flower. And I picked colors that would pop off. So with the pink and purples and blues in the background, the orange pops off of that as well as the green. Um, when I did say this card here, I wasn't really thinking about it. 
and so the leaves are the same color as the background. And the other thing I want to just mention about this is what I did was I stamped the stamp directly onto the card in gold and embossed it and then stamped a second one to cut out and laid it on top and that's how I got all that um, nice detail on the background there. So back to our button for a moment. I'm going to put some twine through it. That and now I'm just going to tie a double knot. And then just cut off those ends. And just by putting a bit of twine in there, just decorates that button a bit. It's not so bare. And then he fits right on top of my flower. And these are just paper, so they're not very heavy. Just going to look for the stripes. I think I'll put the stripes across. that down for a moment till the glue catches and then I'm going to stamp um, you are your only limits and that should fit there I'm just going to move this up on my I'm stamping with archival ink you can stamp with other ink but archival is my the one I like to use and I'm going to just stamp it right in here. And there we have our completed card. And we use the Distress Picket Fence for the background as well as on the button. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like our video, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Scrap Time Videos. See you next time. Bye bye.